What's up my art peeps? Welcome back to another customization video. This time we're going to get this right without any mistakes. In the last customization attempt I realized, so we've done two attempts so far. We did the desk, I tried to do a Bluetooth speaker, and I made the mistake of not sanding either one of those surfaces so the gesso didn't really have anything to grab onto or adhere to so it came off much easier than I was expecting it to come off. So this time we're going to do a phone case and I'm going to sand it down real quick before we start putting on layers of gesso. Hopefully that helps us avoid making the same mistake. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna try and do a, a quick little abstract painting on this, sort of going for like, kind of like a wood grain type style, like in the mystical wood grain video you can check out right here. We're using primary blue, turquoise blue, and we're gonna use titanium white. And the cool thing about this is usually just straight up and down strokes with a nice coarse brush should do the trick. I might actually need a different brush. We'll find out here in a second. dried it real quick the hair dryer just to kind of make things go a little faster and I'm gonna use a, a different brush this brush is a bit more coarse so we should be able to get more of like a wood grainish type of feel to this so let's see what we can do here Working on more layers here, I just want to keep adding layers to add more depth and make it cooler looking. Make it cooler looking. All right, we're gonna add just a touch, a tiny bit of metallic magenta to try and make this a little bit more diverse, a little bit more depth, a little bit more diversity.
Here we are with the final finish. As you can see, this is a pretty simple result to get through basic uh, up and down brush strokes with a rough coarse brush. This custom painting went pretty well for us today. We didn't have any paint peel off. So definitely a good idea to sand the surface down of something to help the gesso have something to adhere to when you can, depending on what object you're customizing. Okay, if you want to see any more customization videos, check out this playlist right here. Or if you want to check out another video from this channel that YouTube says would be perfect just for you, check out this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one.